First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekakudash. The water, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, for allowing me to do another video through the Spirit. The water, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, for giving us his truth as worms. Double honors to our apostle and elders at Great Millstone and salutation and blessings to the whole elect. I just want to do a video on this video that I seen, I think last week sometime. And as Jake speaks about the war in heaven, which is spoken about in Revelation 12 chapter, which isn't what he's about to say it is. But the war in heaven, which is spoken about in the Revelation, in the book of Revelation, which was prophesied to happen in the end times, for one, that, that alone shows that this dude doesn't know what he's talking about. About Satan trying to keep his place in heaven, this and that. For one, the angels are not the evil angels are not outside of the order of the heavenly Father. They all listen to him. They all obey him. He is the the ultimate say so. There's there was no rebellion in heaven. Never happened. That is Greek mythology mixed with the scriptures. Yeah, that shit happened in Olympus in that Greek and Roman shit with Zeus and all them. But that shit never happened in the Bible. There was no falling from grace with Satan and none of that. Satan has his position to this very day that he was given from the beginning of time. There, there's order and rankings in the heavens. It's just that simple. So I'm going to let this play. I'm going to grab the scripture and we're going we to we, you know, get to it. The war in heaven wasn't because Satan started a war. No, you're reading that the wrong way. The war. Shit, shit you're reading it wrong too in heaven he says and there was war in heaven michael against the devil and the devil against his angel and they fought for there was no place found for them it was not a fight to take over heaven it was a fight don't kick us out of heaven they lost their place what they occupied was taken from them so the battle wasn't for we are going to take over heaven if you read it carefully, you realize that Satan was trying to elevate to where God is. It means that he was not even in the same realm. Michael was in a higher realm and he saw what was going on and he went to deal with it. If you notice that whole episode, God was not even involved. The war right, in heaven wasn't... Let's go to the scripture that he's talking about. And he is right about one thing, that Satan will be kicked out of his place. And not the physical, not the actual spiritual demon Satan... But the one who, the physical counterpart of Satan on earth, Esau Edom, he will be kicked out of the rent, the domain that he, that he possesses, which is his heaven, the heaven of the so-called white man on the planet earth. Because there's three definitions of heaven. There's heaven where the spiritual realm, where the heavenly father dwells and his son and the angels and spirits. There's heaven, which is the sky, so-called Shemayim, which is another term, which is actually what heaven is, Bashamayim. The waters, which is space, sky, so on and so forth. And then there's heaven, which is a mindset, a, 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 a thought. Like the old saying goes, a black man's hell is a white, no, is a white man's heaven is a black man's hell. And a black man's heaven is a white man's hell, which is just a phrase. It's a phrase. It's, it's, it's a talk. It's not literal heaven. It's that they're good. They're in a good position. They're in heaven. They're on cloud nine, in other words. It's a parable. This is Revelation 12 and verse 7. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. Now, who's the dragon? This isn't speaking. And, it, and this is a prophecy which will happen in the end of days. Not something that was going on at the beginning of time. This is a prophecy that was happening at the end of days, which has not even been fulfilled yet, is going to be fulfilled, saying uh, that Michael was fighting against the dragon. Who is this dragon is talking about? And his, and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought against his angels. Now, let's actually let's see what that word for dragon is right there, just to see, just to see if it, it, it says anything. We're going to get what that dragon is. I just want to see. Let's see what the word dragon is there. It says it says a dragon. Oh, let's get the Greek. Strong's G fourteen oh four. Dracon. Dra it's one four four. Brock that y'all, but shimmy all shy. Says a dragon, a a great serpent, a name for Satan. Okay, 
Let's see. Fabius guy servant, perhaps. Eef. What's the word? Fascinate. Okay. Drag on possibly alternate form. Flavors serpent. Um, let's keep going. Serpent. As you can see, it keeps mentioning the serpent, which is who? Esau Edom going back to the garden. Well, back then, there was called the serpent, the sons of uh, the the. Sons of the wicked, but what eventually became a great dragon. So let's get it. This is Revelation 12 and verse 1. And I saw, uh, yep, and I saw another angel, and I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the keys to the bottomless pit, which was Yahweh Shai, which had the keys to what? The, what was the bottomless pit? Europe, and a great chain in his hand. And he, and he had laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, dealing with, with what the old serpent in the beginning, which is the devil and Satan and bound him a thousand years. This is speaking about when Esau Edom fell. This isn't talking about an actual serpent, an actual snake or a, or or like right here. Right here says an art artful uh, malicious person. This isn't speaking about an actual snake or an actual dragon, which is Rome. With with the seven head and ten horns, this not is not speaking about that. It's speaking about the physical physical representation of this is Esau Edom, the Roman Empire being reestablished, that beast being reestablished in the earth under the the NATO and EU, the seven heads and the ten horns, which are, which were uh con, uh uh nations. Joined together, Edomite nation joined under under one. That's what it's talking about, and they're going to fight against Yahweh Shai at his return, and Michael the Archangel will be there also to fight. Let's get this word serpent. This isn't Strong's G thirty seven eighty nine, office, office, office. It's not actually a serpent. It's a snake serpent with the ancient. The serpent was an emblem. Of cunning and wisdom, the serpent who deceived Eve, uh, regarded by the Jews as the devil. Now, now the Jews knew that there's no place called hell. So, what is this devil? What does devil even mean? It means dece deceiver. This, they knew the Jews knew that that man who deceived Eve in the beginning was a person. It was a person of snake-like tendencies. A witch, a warlock, as you would call it, a deceiver. It was not an actual fucking snake. Just like in Revelations 12, it's not an actual dragon. These nations, these Edomite nations are going to fight against the Lord Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai and the angels. Which we're going to get into. It says, this is the Strong's. It says, through the idea of sharpness of vision... A snake figuratively as a as a typical a, a type of sly cunning and artful mal malicious person, especially Satan slash serpent. So it's a person is speaking about a person or a nation. It's not really speaking about about an actual snake, a physical fucking snake and a physical dragon It's Dealing with a, a people, a race. And actually, let me get the names of, of of the dragon just to, you know, add on to the, you know, further, further cement the point. Because what that dragon, what that dragon is. So the names of the dragon, the ten horns, which is a modern day, the modern day ten horns is Belgium, Denmark, uh, France, Italy. Luxembourg, Netherlands, uh, uh, Greece, Spain, Portugal, England, slash Ireland, West, 
West Germany, which is which, which is under what? The EEC, which originally was the EEC, which is now the EU, which it was, but it was originally called what? The Economic Community, which was established under what? The Treaty of Rome. This is what it's dealing with. It's not speaking about actual dragon or uh, uh, actual serpent flying in the fucking sky. No, this is dealing with a race of people that will be established in power in these last days. It's not as is you Christians have have you have it wrong. You have it wrong. It's that's all. You don't you don't have it right and the prophets are on the scene to 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 correct it. And that's and that's all that's going on to bring out the truth of the matter. So that's a, that's a part of the dragon. Let's get the uh, the uh, the seven heads, which I believe is. I just want to pull it up just so I make sure I'm correct. Don't want to be. Don't want to say say any anything incorrect. But just to show what it's dealing with. This is not dealing with this this uh this mythical creature. This mythical zoan. <laughs> That's some shit off of One Piece, but it's not dealing with dealing with that. It's speaking about a nation that will rule in these last days, which came back. It says in the, the the seven heads is what Germania, uh, Germania Major, Germania Minor, Rome, France, Spain, Brit, the British, and Greece. Those seven under and now what they like. It says, and there was one that was not, which came out of the seven, which is America. It's not talking about an actual dragon or actual serpent. It is parabolic talk. It's speaking in a parable. It's not, it's not uh, physical. It's speaking about a, pe- a people that will come and that will, this who, who the Lord will war with in these last days. So let's go back to it. This is Revelation 12 and verse 7. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the and the dragon fought against his angels and prevailed not. Neither was there a place found for him found anymore in heaven. Because what? He was cast down. He fell from his position. He was taken out of his power. And who who came? Who is the next to come into power? The children of Israel. Let's read verse nine. And the great dragon was cast, was cast out. That old serpent called the devil, which is dealing with this, this race of people and Satan, like it said in Revelation 20, which deceived the whole world. He was cast out into the into the earth and his angels were cast out with him, meaning he was taken out of power. He fell. He will he will fall. The so-called white man and his power system is going to come to an end. This is why the Lord said he beheld Satan falling as lightning. It's not physically, it's not literally talking about the spiritual demon Satan. The spiritual demon Satan will always have his position. It's speaking about a man, someone that would set be, be set up in power in the last day. This is the book of Revelation at that. The angel told John, look, these are the things which will happen in the last days. It's not is not fucking Satan and the, and the angels fighting against the Lord. Even there are certain terms that they use that show that that this is speaking about them, like a uh, 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 like a fallen uh, aircraft, uh, like a uh, a jet. It's called a fallen angel because their angels is what their weaponry, their powers, their their jets, their drones. That's their angels. Like they show in that movie, uh, the Independence Day. Verse 10, and I heard a, vo- uh, a loud voice saying in heaven, now is salvation come. Who did salvation come to at the end of of Esau, Edom's power structure? The Israelites, the children of Israel and strength and the kingdom of our power and the power of his anointed. What is the kingdom of our power? The kingdom of heaven. 
aka the kingdom of Yahweh Shai, and also aka the throne of David being established in the planet Earth. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night. And who does that? The so-called white man accuses us before the heavenly father day and night by putting evil in front of us, by putting evil in front of his people, by putting setting up evil leaders and saying, look at your people, look what they're doing. But you are the one allowing this. You know the right way and you're setting up evil before the children of Israel. You're setting a stumbling block before your brother and the Lord is going to deal with you. And they that overcame him. By the blood of the lamb. Who is the, who is the day that's going to overcome him? The elect. The, ch the children of Israel. And by the word of his of the of their testimony. And they love not their lives unto death. This is what that's dealing with. The salvation that is going to come to Israel. This is not dealing with no fucking war in heaven and Satan falling. And, and now Satan lives in hell and he's fighting against the heavenly father with a pitchfork in his hand. Wanting to take him down. No, that's some fucking Greek mythology. That's not the Bible. It's not the Bible. It's not. And now when you keep reading now, it jumps to something else. It's now it, it jump it jumps to uh uh something else. Dealing with the time when Esau will come down with great wrath because what? He knows that this, the salvation of Israel is coming soon. And that he will lose. He's not going to win. He's not. So let's let's get two two scriptures to back up some of these verses that were said. First, I'm gonna get this. This is Second Ezra two, talking about the salvation that are gonna that that that's gonna come, because I believe it says they look it says the same thing, because it said they love not their lives unto death. It says, let's go. This is a uh, Second Ezra two, and verse uh, forty four. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, These be they that put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal, and having confessed the name of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, now are they crowned and receive palms. Then said said I unto unto the angel, What young person is that that crowneth them and giveth them palms in their in their hands? So he answered and said unto unto me, It is the son of Yahweh, whom the world whom they have confessed in the world, they being then I began greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. And those are the same men that that John saw, and it's the same men that uh Ezra is seeing, the elect men that that are gonna stand for Yahweh by Shimia Shai unto the end. Though those that are not gonna love their lives unto death. That's going to put off the immortal, meaning putting off this world, putting off losing, putting off loss, putting off all the shit that comes with this life to gain Yahweh Shai, to gain the victory, to gain the, the immortal. That's why sometimes you just have to you can't care as much because there is something greater that is going to be established, which is the kingdom. And the Lord has promised that he's going to give us everything back through that. Everything. That's why Paul said, I count everything done, done that I may win Yahweh Shai, because there is a victory in a great reward coming for those that that stand for Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. This is why you, you must continue the fight, because there is a great reward to them that overcome and the only ones that are going to overcome is the elect and the one third. Which are the women and children that that a hey, that endure men, women, and children? Because you have men a part of one third too. Uh, but the elect is the governing body of Israel. the The one third is men, women, and children. You know, friends, maybe fa uh, friends, and some of the families of the elect that will endure. But this is going into the war of heaven. This is Second Ezra thirteen and verse one. And I and I. And it came to pass after seven days, I dreamed a dream by night and lo, there arose a wind from the sea that that it moved all the waves thereof. 
And I beheld, and lo, that man, which man is that, Yahushai, waxed strong with the thousands of heaven. And when he turned he his his countenance to look, all and what is he returning on? He's returning in what people call U, UFOs, unidentified flying objects. And now they call UAPs, un, unidentified, uh, what is it, unidentified aerial phenomena. This is what's this is what's returning. This is what's going to come. Yahweh Shai and the angels to war with the world. To establish his kingdom. And when he turned his countenance and looked, all things trembled that see, that were seen under him because it had that blast of fire. And whensoever the voice went out of, of his mouth, which is that laser beam, all they burned that heard his voice like as the earth uh faileth when it feeleth the fire and after this i beheld and lo there was a there was gathered together a multitude of men which is what yahweh shapat the world war three out of number from the four winds of the heavens to subdue the man that came out of the sea which is what out of the heavens he can he's the lord is going to return out of the heavens He's going to come from from space, as you would call it. He's going to crack them clouds. And this is a war in heaven, which John saw that they're sending out jets, fighter troops, drones, shooting rockets, nu missiles, not nukes, but missiles to try to fight this man, to try to fight the Lord. And I beheld and lo, he had graven himself a great mountain, which is a UFO, and flew upon it, but but. But I would have seen the region or place where out the hill was graven, and I could not, meaning that he couldn't tell where it started or where it ended. That's how massive it was. Because this is going to be the ship that delivers the elect out of the Americas, Lord willing. And after this, I beheld, and lo, this is that great fathership. And I beheld, and I, and, and after this, I beheld, and lo, all they that were gathered together to subdue him were sore afraid, and yet there's fight. And lo, as and and lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lifted up his hand nor held speak, held sword nor any instrument of war, but he, but alone I saw that he sent out of his mouth as it and it's not literally his mouth; it's speaking about the mouth of the chariot. As it had been a blast of fire, and out of his lips a flaming breath, and out of his tongue he cast out sparks, sparks and temp tempests, and they were all mixed together. The blast of, of fire, the flaming breath, the great tempest, and and fell with the violence upon the multitude which was prepared to fight, and burned them up, every one, so that upon a sudden and numeral an innumerable multitude nothing was to be per perceived but only dust and smell of smoke when i saw this i was afraid and this is what jo this is the same thing john saw that war in heaven this is what the book of revelations is speaking about the war in heaven which where michael and the and the dragon is speaking about the the war that they're going to wage against the lord and they're going to be utterly defeated this is not speaking about some war in heaven, some Greek mythology, the Michael the Archangel and Satan fighting against each other. No, the angels and and the angels and and the, the evil angels and the righteous angels are on one accord. They do what the Most High tells them to do. That's it. Satan is not rebelling against the Most High. Satan is a son of God. Also, he does not rebel. He follows order just like the rest. It's madness. Is madness taught with this Roman Catholic Catholicism? Then they mix, and really it was a nigga who did it. Constantine mixed uh, paganism with the scriptures, and now we're living up in this time. Now the prophets are back on the scene to set the record straight. It's not talking about those things. There's no, there's no Dante's Inferno. All right, there's no eight gates of hell. Ain't no 10 gates of hell that Satan's going to break out of and establish his kingdom on the earth for a thousand years. And then Yahushua is going to stop him. No, none of that shit's going to happen. 
The prophets are here to set the record straight. You niggas are crazy. And you motherfuckers really believe Greek mythology. And I'm going to get this and I'm going to close off dealing with the angels. How they're all in order. Um, let's see. Get it with, with the council that happened in he heaven. Because there's evil angels and righteous angels. Just like it says in Psalms. That the Lord sent evil angels among them. There's evil angels. It's just that simple. The Lord made good and evil. Um, let's see. Just want to pull this up real quick. Dealing with the prophet Micah. Right here. This is uh, 2 Corinthians 18. I'm going to start up. Verse 16. Then said he, then he said, I did see all Israel scattered upon the mountain as a sheep that had no shepherd. And and the Lord said, these have no master. Let them let them return. Therefore, every man to his house in peace. And the king of Israel did said to uh, to Jehoshaphat or Jehoshaphat, did I not tell thee that he would not prophesy good unto unto me, but evil? And this is some wicked ass northern kingdom. Uh, I believe it's Ahab. Let me start up. Cause he had he had Micah in prison. Cause uh he he ain't like him. He ain't like him. Let's, let's see. Yeah, A uh Ahab. Ahab wicked ass. Let's keep going though. Uh back to it. Verse uh, 18. And again, he said, therefore, hear the word of the Lord. I saw the Lord Yahweh sitting upon his throne and all the hosts of, of heaven standing. What is what is host? The armies, the host of heaven standing on his right hand and on his left. Angels on the right hand side, and angels on the left hand side, evil angels and good angels. They're all there. He didn't say I seen some angels in hell and I seen some angels in uh, uh in heaven and they were discussing. No, ain't no fucking hell. Hell is the grave. When you die, everyone goes. To, everyone goes to hell. If you if somebody digs a hole for you and they put your body there, your body's in hell. It's not speaking about some some uh Greek mythology shit. And even you can Google this shit, man. It was added. Just Google, man. Go and fucking Google and read Wikipedia for a little bit. The, the, hell is not a Hebrew doctrine. Get your shit together. And ain't no fucking Satan fighting against the Most High. That's stupid. Why would the Lord make an angel fight against him? Are you dumb? He gonna make this powerful being that's gonna go against him. Are you fucking stupid, bro. That and, and and to the point where he can physically try to harm him. Come on now. Come on now. Make this shit make sense, man. Satan is not fighting against the most high. Satan is completely in order. Jesus Christ. <laughs> not literally. <laughs> not even Jesus Christ. That's a fucking horrible name. Uh, but let's keep going. Verse 19. And the Lord, Yahweh, this is the heavenly father, said, Who shall entreat Ahab, king of Israel, that he may go up and fall at Ramoth Gilead, and one spake saying after this matter and another saying after that matter. Then there came out a spirit and, sp and stood and stood before the Lord and said, I will entreat him. And the Lord said unto him wherewith. And that's you can read the rest of the story. But at, the angels were talking there like, hey, Lord, let's do this. And the Lord was like, all right, no, nah, I don't fuck with that. What do you think? He like, all right, we should do this. And the angel came out of the cut. The angel came out of his cut like, hey, I'll go do this. And, and the Lord said, well, what, what you going to do? And he tells him, well, I'll just read it at verse uh, 21. And he said, I'll go out and be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. And the Lord said, thou, thou shalt entreat him and thou shalt also prevail. Go, go out and do even so. So the Lord controls it. Like the scriptures say, if there be evil in the city, have the Lord not done it? How about Shemi al Shai is in control? Satan is not rebelling, nor is he trying to get out of his place. That's dealing with Revelations, the 12th, 12th chapter, and 
Uh, Isaiah the 14th chapter dealing with Lucifer that is speaking about the fall of the so-called white man and his power structure. That's it. They're speaking about a power structure that will be set up in these last days because that's the book of Revelation that it will be set up in the last days. This power structure is going to strive against the Lord and, it's, and they're literally going to war against the Lord and they're going to lose at his return. So with that, Lord, we hope it was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Rekakwadash, and with that, Shalom.